Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Ruo Yu. I will, I will uh, introduce our paper titled Mooncake Trading Mode Storage for Less Computation, a Kiwi Cache Centric Architecture for Serving IAM Chatbot. Mooncake is a serving platform for Kimi, a leading IAM pro service provided by Moonshot AI. Mooncake was jointly developed by Moonshot AI and the Kiwi Cache AI team of Tsinghua University. Currently, it handles over 80% of traffic for Kimi and uh, has reduced cost by more than half compared to our previous system. First, let me provide some background on IAM inference. In transformer-based large language models, request processing is divided into two stages, preview and decode. The preview stage computes all input tokens and generates the first output token, while the decoding stage is autoregressive processing one token at a time. We use two latency metrics for IAM inference. One is TTFT, which measures the time from input to the generation of the first output token, that is the preview time. Uh, the other is TBT, the time interval between the generation of each output token corresponding to the decoding time. Since the preview time completes all calculations at once, it is relatively computationally intensive. Its compute time grows quickly with the input length. For example, with 128K inputs, it would take more than five seconds to get the first output token of the response. The decoding stage, on the other hand, is more bandwidth intensive and has a lower computational resource utilization but its latency must meet at least the user's reading speed, for example, 10 tokens per second. Therefore, IAM serving faces huge challenges. Firstly, the long, the long context preview consumes a substantial amount of GPU compute time. Meanwhile, the stringent G TBT limits the computational efficiency of requests in a preview decode mixed batch. When we apply the inference process across multiple instances and uh, introduce a central scheduler, which we call conductor, we get an online IAM serving system. The system provides a streaming API, meaning that each generated token is returned to the user in real time. And as a service quality guarantee, the TTFT and the TBT latencies should not exceed predefined thresholds. Mooncake is just the online um, serving system that powers Kimi. Currently, Kimi serves a million of users, processes over 100 billion tokens daily, and delivers smooth real-time responses. One of Kimi's most popular features is its support for a context length of up to 1 million tokens. According to the scaling law, large models and longer contexts can lead to higher intelligence. However, this also increases inference costs and uh, response licenses, especially during the peak usage times. Therefore, a natural question arises, how can we improve computational resource utilization and uh, overall system throughput in large-scale, long-context service scenarios while compromising the user's uh, experience? An important optimization for long-context uh, is prefix caching. Kiwi cache can be shared across requests with the same prefix to reduce the computation. For example, if there was a previous request like, what day is it today? Then a followed up request like, what day is it, yesterday, what day is it tomorrow? would only require computing the Kiwi cache for the last token, reusing the Kiwi cache for the first four tokens. We conducted an analysis of Kimi's online workloads. To our surprise, approximately 50% of the tokens Kiwi cache in the real world workloads can be reused. This means that if we have sufficient space to store all the Kiwi cache, we could save nearly half of the GPU computation. However, the cache hit rate significantly drops when we only using the local cache of a single node which has a capacity of about 3 million tokens. This implies that we should expand the Kiwi cache capacity to treat more storage for less computation. Although the idea is simple, Kiwi cache presents 
greater challenges to the storage system compared to traditional caches. Each token, which may only be a few bytes, can expand by thousands of times after being processed by a large model, reaching a size of tens or even hundreds of kilobytes. Moreover, Kiwi Cache grows linearly with the sequence length. For example, with the Lama 370B model, even with techniques like group query attention that help reduce Kiwi Cache, the Kiwi Cache volume for a 1 million token context still reaches 320 GB. So, in order to fully leverage prefix caching to reduce computation costs, the Kiwi Cache storage required would be far greater than the available capacity of a single node. What's more, the Kiwi Cache transfer speed requirements are very high. If I.O. becomes a bottleneck, it could lead to idle GPU resources with invaluable computational power. To build an efficient RM serving system, we need to achieve large capacity Kiwi Cache storage, low latency, and high bandwidth Kiwi Cache transfer. And at the system level, we also need to implement Kiwi Cache aware scheduling to balance cache locality and the instance load. In summary, the Kiwi Cache centric architecture is all you need. According to this, we have designed and built Mooncake. A uh, Kiwi Cache centric uh, um, serving architecture. Mooncake builds an underlying infrastructure, Mooncake Store, which provides a fast, scalable, and fault tolerant Kiwi Cache storage and the transfer engine. Based on this, we have constructed a large scale preview decode disaggregation inference cluster, greatly improving throughput while maintaining real time responses. Let me first introduce the workflow of processing requests in Mooncake. There are many scheduling algorithms for um, inference, such as preview prioritizing, decoding prioritizing, and uh, chunked preview, which segments the preview execution to reduce the interference with the decoding stage. However, all of these approaches face challenges in meeting both MFU and uh, the TBT requirements, MFU is the model flops utilization. Therefore, we use the preview decode disaggregation architecture, separating the two stages onto different instances. As shown in the figure on the right, after the preview instance has completed the incremental preview, the Kiwi cache is transferred to another instance for the decoding stage. This disaggregation uh, architecture avoids the interference between preview and the decode in a mixed batch. And uh, at the same time, each stage can use different resources and uh, parallelism methods based on their own computational characteristics, further improving MFU and the throughput. In large scale deployments, the PND disaggregation is expanded to two node pools, the preview pool and the decoding pool. Kiwi cache from any node can be quickly transferred, enabling more flexible request scheduling. The infrastructure that supports this is Mooncake Store, which provides large capacity, high bandwidth Kiwi cache storage. It builds a global cache pool on VRAM, DRAM, and SSD of inference nodes and uh, supports high bandwidth Kiwi cache transfer between uh, inference engines and the storages. As a deployed system, Mooncake Store offers high scalability and fault tolerance, supporting elastic scaling of the online inference system. In terms of design, Mooncake Store is independent of the inference engine and uh, provides a flexible API structure. The inference engine, such as the VLM, which is the most widely used open source um, inference framework, can implement prefix cache offloading and the PD disaggregation features on its own. Internally, Mooncake Store uses prefix hashed object storage for Kiwi Cache, where each block uh, consists of 16 to 512 tokens. Each block is attached with a hash key determined by both its own hash and uh, its prefix for deduplication. When a new request arrives, the system matches token blocks one by one until a mismatch occurs, identifying the reusable Kiwi Cache blocks and uh, the new uh, Kiwi Cache blocks. 
the preview instance generates the incremental query cache blocks and then transfers the, them to the decoding instance. When the number of node query cache blocks reaches the capacity limit, we use the LRU policy to evict the old cache blocks. Mooncake Store provides a high performance fault tolerant query cache transfer engine that supports multiple transport methods such as GPU direct RDMA, TCP, and NVMe over fabric. This, it is optimized for multi RDMA network card scenarios, making it more efficient in utilizing network card bandwidth compared to other protocols. In comparison to protocols like NCCL, the Mooncake transfer engine is more flexible because it doesn't require the construction of prior size groups, enabling support for the elastic scaling of deployment nodes. As an intermediary layer between the upper level um, engine and the lower level hardware, Mooncake Store excels in external integration. For the upper level, Mooncake Store provides zero copy object put and get interfaces supporting not only inference engines like VRM, but also um, training engines such as Megatron for its checkpoint offloading and transferring. For the lower level, Mooncake Store supports local memory, remote memory, SSD, and uh, other third-party memory storages. According to our historical statistics of KME, Mooncake enables KME to handle 115% and 107% more requests on A800 and H800 GPU clusters, respectively. To validate the results, in the experimental section, we conducted a series of end-to-end -end and uh, ablation experiments on Mooncake to address the following questions. One, does Mooncake outperform existing um, inference systems in real-world scenarios? Two, compared to conventional prefix caching methods, does the design of Mooncake Store significantly improve Mooncake's performance? To resemble the online request distribution, we constructed three trees data size through uh, sampling them from the online, dis uh, online requests. Uh, they are conversation to an agent and a synthetic. The average input length of this data size is around 10k tokens, which is different from the commonly used short request data size and more closely resembles the real world distribution. To compare the performance of Mooncake and other RM engine, uh, inference, uh, RM inference systems in real world scenarios, we choose the effective request capacity metric, which refers to the number of requests in a given workload that meet the latency requirements. This metric reflects the system's real effective throughput, also known as good put. The results show that the three baseline systems cannot avoid the interference between preview and decoding in a mixed batch, resulting in huge latency violations. On the other hand, Mooncake through PND disaggregation and the KV cache memory pooling achieves flexible disaggregated scheduling, thus avoiding the aforementioned interference. As a result, Mooncake's effective request capacity is much higher with an improvement of up to 498%. Next, we measure the GPU computation time during the preview stage, which reflects the MFU and uh, the actual utilization of the prefix cache. The lower GPU costs imply the higher MFU and uh, the higher proportion of reusable KV cache. From the bar chart, we can see that VRM and uh, VM with chunked preview have two to three times higher GPU costs compared to Mooncake. While VM with prefix caching can reuse the QV cache, it limits its cache to a single node, making it suitable only for scenarios with highly concentrated hot, cache, hot caches, such as the two and the agent workload. Mooncake, by implementing QV cache pooling, greatly improve, improve prefix cache utilization across all traces. As a result, we can save 29 to 61% on GPU computation costs during the preview stage. 
due to the time constraints, I didn't go into the detailed implementation of the Mooncake Inference Engine and the, the scheduling part. For more information, please refer to our paper. We also welcome you to read the ablation experiments in the paper to gain a more comprehensive understanding of the Mooncake system. In the final moment, I want to introduce our roadmap for integrating Mooncake Store on, into VIM, which we have planned in two stages. In the first stage, we use Mooncake's transfer engine for VM's disaggregated inference, which currently only supports one preview instance and one decoding instance. This part has already been merged into VIM, and you can refer to our repository for the tutorial. In the second stage, we will support disaggregated inference with any number of preview and decoding instances based on Mooncake's distributed KV cache pool and a central scheduling service. We are working on this to make VM support more flexible disaggregated inference. This is a summary of our paper. We propose treating more storage for less computation to reduce the cost of large-scale, long-context um, serving for KME. Based on this, we built Mooncake, a KV cache-centric um, serving architecture which saves more than half of the costs uh, in our real-world deployments. The core infrastructure of Mooncake is Mooncake Store, which provides a fast, scalable, and uh, fault-tolerant KV cache storage and the transfer engine. Based on Mooncake Store, Mooncake implements efficient PND disaggregation, large KV cache storage, and uh, flexible KV cache scheduling thus significantly improving um, serving throughput while ensuring real-time responses. Uh, that's all. We welcome you to check out our paper for, and the GitHub repo for more details. Thank you for listening.